أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ثم الصلاة والسلام على خير أنبياء الله وسيد المرسلين الحبيب المصطفى الأمين أبي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعلى آل بيت الطيبين الطاهرين وغر الميامين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين مهدي هذه الأمة وخاتم الأمة وطاوس أهل الجنة الحجة بن الحسن العسكري روحي وأرواح العالمين التي راضي مقدمه الفداء قال الله العظيم في محكم الكتاب الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل إن كنتم تحبون الله فاتبعوني يحبكم الله ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم والله غفور رحيم أمنا بالله صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم أنه قال إن الله تعالى يحب الملحين في الدعاء صدق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم We spoke last week, alhamdulillah, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extended our life to speak this week again in regards of who God's love and what's the qualities that the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love have and what they do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the things that He loves in His servant is to persist in dua. There's a hadith that sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala delay granting the mu'min his wish. Why? Because he would like him to pray more, to hear him more. And he says to his angels to delay the granting of his wish. Because he loves hearing him. And for sometimes a non-believer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, grant him his wish immediately. I don't like to hear him. And we have in the dua of Titah during the month of Ramadan, there is this passage that I really love. Allah Akbar. Maybe you delayed because it was good for me. You know, imagine someone with this kind of mentality. He enjoys life. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't give me that? Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't grant me? Why didn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala know this? Eh, hold on. A mu'min is not like that. When he sees that his hajjah, his wish, been delayed, he says, maybe I don't deserve it now. Maybe it's even good for me that I don't have it now. If you have that mentality, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how do you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will treat you? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it so that it's good for you. It's in His hand to change your destiny, you know, and to change your life, right? But for what you have now, for example, it says, you know, this should be delayed it's because if it's good for you. Now imagine if kids, they get their, all their wishes, what are they going to be? Spoiled. Don't we say that for some parents, you are spoiling him. He doesn't deserve this. Don't give him that. Why? But he wants it. He really wants it. That's, you know, if you uh, see that some of our hajats, it's like kids' hajat, but like what? In a bigger scale, what they say to the uh, some like uh, glamorous, like luxury car or uh, supercar or whatever, they call them what? Uh, man toys, right? It is kind of though. It is, you know. 
For a lot of us, you know, we have like some gadgets that we enjoy having, right? On a bigger scale, you know, when we were kids, we like this, like little cars. Now, like a, a car that I can, again, control, but what to brag about. Same, same thing, same. I mean, ima- compare yourself when you were a kid and now, not yourself, like some, some people, right? The same thing, but what on a bigger scale. That's it. That's it. But at the end, they're all childish. And see what you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in dua. See what you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in supplication. See what you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the uh, through Ahl Bayt sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's a much bigger thing. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that Allah loves a person who is persistent on his hajjah. I be persistent. Why not? You know, sometimes. I have this, uh, these wild ducks come and uh, they get the extra uh, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, made for them in my house. It's not me, it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? I'm merely the uh, uh, wasila. So uh, they learn to knock on, on the door, right? Sometimes I already like gave them or like they, you know, they start... Uh, uh, dirtying the whole thing like the balcony and the whole, the whole place but sometimes I see they persist and when they are persistent I give them I said this is me this is like I'm a human right Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is much bigger than I, I, it's, you can't compare yourself even right and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says like I love I, I don't like it when, when I see that duck like starts persist say, okay, just go. But with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's different. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes it. And what is better joy to do something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves? Truly. Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam says, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alayhi Muhammad. Ya Rabb, wadadtu anni a'lamu man tuhib min ibadik fu'ahib. I would like to know who out of your servant you love, so I love him. Why do you think we love Ali Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves them the most. So through the love of Ali Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we would get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, قَالَ إِذَا رَأَيْتْ عَبْدِي يُكْثِرُ ذِكْرِي فَأَنَا أَذِنْتُ لَهُ فِي ذَلِكُ وَأَنَا أُحِبُّهُ الله أكبر. But if you say, like a servant of mine, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rest the soul of all mu'minin and mu'minat, among them was uh, Sayyid, uh, the son of Sayyid Abdullah al-Sabzawari, the great marja, uh, Sayyid Muhammad al-Sabzawari. And uh, my father, uh, we were in a sitting, after I said, did you know to say Muhammad? I said, uh, like, yeah, he was like sitting. I said, no. Did you notice his lips? I said, what? I said, he was like, while we're sitting talking, he was doing dhikr. So love those people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them that gift of mentioning him all the time. Because know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them that. That's something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted them. And I said previously, last week, that if you know, if you want to know how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you, see how much you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Did we get to that stage? Or for us, it's, you know, it's just custom, just something that we do. No. I said this verse, فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ You know, I can't fathom this. Truly me, I can't understand this very well. Why? Because who am I? Who am I? I'm the creation 
you know, compared to the galaxies, the billions upon billions of creation, the galaxies that are, we don't even know where they are located. I, when I mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah mentions me. Ya man Allah. Mentioning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beautiful and sweet in itself. I said what Imam Sadiq said, that asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, said that he's talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and says like, I wanted to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something, but then start talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I forgot what, what I wanted. Because speaking with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in itself, it's beautiful, it's sweet. If you get to that stage, know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you. So try to get to there. By what? Doing the all the time. We have, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, a lot of free time on our hands. All the Mu'mineen. I think it was Abu Dhar and Amin Mu'mineen in one, in one narration that they went to the Baba and wanted to trim their beard. And uh, said, like, just uh, be, uh, like, uh, shut your lips for a second. I'm like, trim, uh, I mean, your mustache. And um, said, no, I can't. They can't. Truly, they can't. Always mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See, Ahl Bayt, salawatu Allah, salam alayhi wa From the beginning till the end. Always, always uh, see at the... Uh, end of the life of Ahl Bayt sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the narration what the narration says like towards the end they always mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until they leave this life and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know this for a lot of people they can't they can't do it towards the end no they are busy with themselves with the busy with the pain they're busy with no, no, but for a mu'min he's busy always with dhikr and that in itself is blessing for him. And we conclude with a narration from Amir Mu'min Salamullah Alayhi. He says that Ida Ahabba Allahu Abdan Alhamahu Husnul Ibada. Allah. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves someone. He will grant him the uh, ibadah that without distraction. I mean, I'm paraphrasing here. Husn al ibadah. Husn al ibadah, what? A good ibadah. A good worship. He will give him that. InshaAllah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, truly put his love in our hearts. And inshaAllah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability. And extend our life to be able to love him as uh, we can't say as much as Ahl Bayt because to actually know to actually how much you love someone you need to understand and know him more. So, but at least to have the some of the daraja of Ashab of Amin Umni Ashab true Ashab of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa taala through the Hujjat ibn Hassan sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to uh, be among his servants and among the one who Al Hujjat ibn Hassan sallallahu alayhi wa love. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of course to hasten his reappearance and to put us among his companion. Inna huwa liya tawfiq wa sallam ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala tayyibina al-tahri. Allah.